There's a moment when you're just a fan, and there's a moment when you're a filmmaker. And the one moment can follow the other by about one minute, because all you have to do is pick up a camera and start shooting something with the intention of making a film, and you're a filmmaker. I'm James Cameron, and this is my masterclass. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's Lewis here. Today what we're gonna be talking about is the James Cameron Teacher's Filmmaking Masterclass. Now if you don't know who James Cameron is, he's an award-winning director, filmmaker, as well as one of the creators of the Avatar series. We're going to jump into his brand new masterclass and figure out is it worth it for you? We're going to log into every single class and show you exactly what you get through every single video so you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want it or not. As always everyone, there's a link in the description which you can get the masterclass for an unknown amount. Masterclass changes their price all the time, so let's jump into it right now. What exactly is masterclass? Class. Masterclass has built a platform for some of the best and most innovative creators in their respective industries. So not only do we have James Cameron, but we also have people like Brandon McMillan. We have Gordon Ramsay, Chris Voss, all of these absolute top dogs in their respective fields. Anna Winter, Wayne Gretzky. Currently right now, they always have deals on, whether that's like the two for one Christmas deal or the Father's Day deal. My link will give you the most up-to-date thing at the point in time. They change their prices. They change their deals at every single time. So I'm not sure if this deal will come back. If it does, congrats. You made it in time. If it isn't, I apologize. It's not there and it'll probably be at that price for a very long time. And there are new classes happening every single month. Currently, I believe there's more than a hundred masterclasses on the platform right now. It's on all your platforms. You can watch it on your mobile, etc., etc., etc. By the way, everyone, if you're interested in the world of creating, directing, or even becoming a little YouTuber yourself without showing your face, otherwise known as a faceless YouTuber and how I do it, I created a little online school that teaches people exactly step-by-step -step how to create content and how to make it rank in Google. There's a reason why you're watching this piece of content right now. There's a reason why it's ranking very high in the world of YouTube. I show you exactly how to do that step by step in an easy way. You don't have to share your face. I created a literal YouTube masterclass, but if you want to learn about that world, there's my little plug for my own little school. But otherwise, everyone, let's get back to the video. So this is exactly what you see once you invest in the James Cameron masterclass. Now, what I'm going to show you is the interface really quickly. Then I'm going to show you all of the lessons that you get and do a deep dive into each one of them and really just show you what you get before you make this play or make this investment. And then of course, show you the masterclass workbook, which I'll probably show you earlier and of course the community all of those different things so let's jump into it right now on the top left you'll see discover all that means is your ability to discover different masterclasses that they're releasing on a monthly basis that's all it is my progress is really if you're taking multiple classes at the same time aka if you have invested in the all access masterclass you will have access to all of the masterclasses within the program and then library is really just a redundant crazy thing that doesn't have actually have to exist as far as I'm concerned it's just your search function if you need it but everything is really in my progress anyway then you have menu. Menu is really just my profile. So once you invest in the all access masterclass, you can actually give a friend a seven day free trial, or I think it's a 14 day free trial. So take advantage of that, send it to your mates if you like it, or just send them to this video so they can get a complete review. And then voila. Of course, then there is the community. The community is by far the most valuable piece in all of this. It's more valuable than the actual videos themselves. And the reason why is because there was a particular lesson where they do a breakdown of the Titanic, AKA Rose's introduction. Let me find this lesson 12 by far the best one by the way so make sure you stay to the end of this video for my breakdown of that and where we dive into exactly what they talk about it's insane it's by far the best lesson in the masterclass where by I wanted to discuss and get the opinions of all the other masterclass students that are taking this and I did and it's really cool to have those discussions with people and the reason this is so valuable is because you're dealing with people now that aren't just getting James Cameron the masterclass for free or, or anything like that you're getting people that are interested and invested they literally invest in this platform they invest in their education education, which is a very different type of human, right? You're getting someone that has said, okay, listen, I'm going to invest in this James Cameron masterclass. I'm going to subscribe to Lewis's channel. <laughs> they're investing in the masterclass. They're obviously learning and they're learning with you along with you per lesson on a lesson basis, which is a very different animal compared to a lot of other things. But at the end of the day, the community is by far the most valuable piece in the entire masterclass. In my opinion, more valuable than every single video in the all access masterclass itself. Then you have browse trailers. You can look at that on YouTube if you really 
really want to. Yeah, quick list. You have gifts. Now here's a little hack. If you get the All Access Masterclass, you can actually give the gift of All Access or, and here's the kicker, the gift of a single Masterclass. Now I'm not sure if they've taken that away because I know this is a little hack and only a few people know this. But if you, for example, like the James Cameron Masterclass, you can go in and buy the All Access, but then you can give the gift of a single Masterclass to someone only via this route. So take advantage of that if you want to go down that route. As well as articles, which is just their blog. They talk a bit deeper into all of the subject matters, whether that's cooking, art, filmmaking, directing, acting, whatever it is. You can then create bookmarks. Bookmarks is just literally bookmarks similar to uh, a Chrome browser. You have your settings, which is just your theme and all that jazz. And of course you can log out. So let's jump into the masterclass workbook right now. So this is the James Cameron masterclass workbook. Now in this workbook, there are over 56 pages of content that supplement each one of the videos. I'd argue that this is probably, if not one of the best or better workbooks within the masterclass series. I'm going to be really respectful for those that invest in this program and only show you a few pages because if I show you everything, that'd just be unreasonable. So by all means, if you want to read this, I'll leave it there. This is page three. You can pause the video right now and just read that piece. However, this is a very, uh, very high quality workbook which supplements each one of the videos in its full entirety. So have fun reading that if you want to. Now we're going to show you and review each one of the lessons within the James Cameron Masterclass. Now, the way I see it and how it's structured is it's actually structured in five core acts. And each one of these acts shows you something really meaningful as well as the context within the video. So let me give you a really quick example of this. In lesson 11, you'll notice that it says crafting and introducing compelling characters. So here is a 20 minute lesson on exactly how to craft and introduce compelling characters to your story, whether that's the villain, whether that's the main character or whoever it is. This is how James Cameron does it in all his movies. And he goes into examples of them. So he looks into Avatar, Titanic, Aliens, all of these big blockbuster films, AAA grade films, and he looks at how he's done it. But what's really cool, and I've already mentioned this is, okay, so here is the theory and here are some practical examples. But now here is a 10 minute example of Rose's introduction of the Titanic. So it's, here is the theory and how to do it properly. And here it is in the real world in a big budget movie. But then there's a, another example of that is really the art of low budget filmmaking in lesson seven. Lesson seven, it's the same thing. So the art of low budget filmmaking. Then after lesson seven, we go directly into examples in lesson eight. So for example, the Terminator. And if you remember the arm and the eye repair scene in the Terminator, he looks at how they did that on a budget because the reality is Terminator was actually a very low budget film. They only had $4 million in movie speak. That's nothing, by the way. They only had $4 million million dollars to make that film and most of that budget and he talks about this went to Arnold Schwarzenegger which is quite cool to hear that by the way he should actually do a masterclass let's jump right into the masterclass acts right now and each one of the lessons so you see what you get the first lesson is really just meet your instructor who he is what he's all about the films that he's worked on and obviously you are introduced to the monster that is him as a director lesson two I consider the start of act one now what he talks about here is pursuing and developing an idea some of the core elements within this lesson are pursuing the idea that we're going away developing the story your own way and not just copy other people. Yes, take inspiration from other people, but don't just copy them blindly. So develop a story on your terms in your own way. Then he looks at the three act structure of building a film. So know the rule and break them. So in this case, there should be three acts within every single film. However, he breaks that and uses four or five and these even sometimes six acts. And then he talks about other directors. He explores Tarantino style as well. So when he talks about Tarantino, he's like, oh, well, Tarantino starts with act four and then goes back to act one and then three and then two and then five. And he talks about the different styles of developing acts and really, really powerful stuff in the second lesson. And you're jumping right into the heat of things. You're not a beginner at this, at this point in time, but if you're a movie goer and you love movies, you're going to understand what's going on here because everyone feels and has felt what it's like to moving to a different act of a film. So if you're just curious about that, very cool stuff. Then of course, the authenticity of your anchor. And what does that mean? I'm not going to spoil that for you. You jump into that. And of course, expressing your perspective in a cinematic sense. So that's lesson two. Lesson three is toying with the audience, building and releasing tension. Now, again, it's here is the theory. And then here exactly is an example in a real world movie. So what exactly does that mean? So in lesson three, he talks about honoring the relationship with the audience and how to build that tension and how to get them emotionally invested, which is quite cool. Then increasing jeopardy and building and prolonging tension. So it's not just building tension in isolation and making it quick. It's how do I extend tension within a film as long as possible? And he shows 
says that in Lesson 4, by the way. You see it in the flesh, which is quite cool. And then building tension across the entire film. So there, here we have different sections of a film where you're building micro tension. And then how do you have the whole film be an insane tension of its own in its own right, which is quite cool. We have the examples in Lesson 4, 5, and 6. James breaks down the club scene from the Terminator walking through shot by shot how he builds relentless tension between the three protagonists or three characters in this context. So it's, it's quite cool to see that in an example format while he's explaining it. If you love audio commentary in films, you're going to love this masterclass. I guarantee you that. Because not only is it so educational, like he's telling you how he's doing it, but he's giving you the theory behind it as well. So there is practical advice if you're a filmmaker here. By the way, the review is already, if, if you're brand new to filmmaking, you wanna get this. If you're an expert at filmmaking, you want to get this. If you just love movies, you want to get this masterclass. And I don't even say that about any of my other masterclasses. In my other masterclass reviews, I say, listen, if you're this, don't get it. In this case, the James Cameron masterclass, I'm telling you right now, just go click my link in the description and get it because it's amazing. Either way, let's continue. Then you have act three in this case. So act three is really the, the art of low budget filmmaking. Learn how, to in, learn how integral preparation and investing tricks are to low budget filmmaking. So what does he talk about in lesson seven? He goes into the topics of getting the most bang for your buck. He looks at use every trick in the book and he teaches you new tricks to save money, by the way, and invent new ones. So he gives you the tools in order to think about how you can think about, okay, so if I'm creating a film, what are some different ways that I can ultimately save money. And he gives you just tools to think. And then he looks at his famous, if you're a filmmaker, you probably know this, he had 117 setups in a day on a low budget. So if you're a filmmaker, you will know what that means. It is insane. I believe he broke the record in that context. Lesson eight, of course, goes into the example. So here's the theory, here's the example. He looks at the arm and eye repair breakdown. So again, audio commentary on steroids. James Cameron shares the low budget tricks he developed to create realistic moments when the Terminator performed surgery on him. And this was quite cool because he talks about how he used real life actors in that scene. Not only did he use Arnold, but he used like prosthetics as well as live actors. And obviously they operated on the prosthetics, but they used, they connected that prosthetic to a live hand. That hand was going through a desk. Very, very cool lesson to watch and see how the, the practical side of filmmaking. Then we look at the next act opinion. So this is act four, developing sets. So from sketch to spectacle, creating set pieces, Pieces. Again, here's the theory and here's the practice of it. And this is interesting because there's not a lot of theory in this one. However, the practical side of things, this is much more in detail. Again, 20 minutes on just that alone in lesson 10. However, in lesson nine, he talks about battling for a few memorable set pieces. So of course, within every movie, there is a budget. What he does is he says, fight and pick your battles for the set pieces that you ultimately want. So that's really cool to, to see the way he thinks about how he fights for budget in certain scenes. And then he looks at planning a set on a low budget. And then he looks at, in this case, and again, in lesson nine, there's an example, the future world within Terminator. Now, if you remember the original Terminator, you'll see it's actually here. He will actually show it in more detail and 20 minutes worth of that, the Terminator future world breakdown, creating a set piece on the budget. But again, he gives you a bit of context in nine. So in t lesson 10 itself, not only does he look at all the camera techniques and all those things, he looks at this particular scene and in the framework of, of course, this act, which is developing sets on a budget. Then he looks at building your knowledge of effects within lesson 10 as well as using reprojection and mini miniatures. And you see it, everything that he's done in the Terminator in order to pull off those shots at a very low budget and how to see through an artistic eye. Now, what he does, uh, he says, everyone that is going to be filmmaking, you need to learn to draw because you need to have it on paper before you, or even digital, it doesn't matter. As long as it's on paper or it's drawn in a way that makes sense and visible. And we're talking about this style of drawing, by the way, not obviously to that degree, but you'll see in this video, the drawings that he's actually worked with on with the artist and then how it's applied to the real film itself. So really, really cool stuff. Lesson 11 is the start of developing characters and adversaries. So in this case, it's all about crafting and introducing compelling characters. James talks through creating the perfect sketch of your characters, making them relatable and introducing them to audiences. Now in this lesson, he looks at craft a very compelling sketch, of course, gives an average person an enormous problem. Then he looks a bit deeper and he says, okay, well, how about we do this? How about we give an average person, a you, me, whoever it is, an enormous problem to face? And that's what Terminator actually is by the way if you look at the main character and how she is an average person just absolutely thrown into all of a sudden having to be the savior of humanity when you actually think about it introducing your character in creative ways again rose lesson lesson 12 is there and then of course build towards the moment your characters collide so here you are creating all these characters and then the fun of filmmaking is really just seeing them all interact and intersect in, in certain and interesting ways titanic is a perfect example of that terminator is a perfect example of that and there are real world examples in which he shows which is great then he looks 
looks at doing your research for historical characters. And when he says research, he uses a really good example here. He says, well, you're not going to get a lot of real information and good information from news articles or PR, basically, in, in, in the media. The reality is people, media get it wrong. So how can you trust historical events? And this is when he enforces, listen, if you can, always go directly to the source. And that's why actors always go to the real, and if they're available at the time, they go to the real people to understand their mannerisms and the way they think and the way they communicate and all those things. He says, don't rely on actual just secondary research, but go out there and do your own research, do primary research. And then a part of this, which is creating compelling characters, which is how do you help the actors influence their character? Because the reality is the actor is going to change your character, whether you like it or not. And it won't be the absolute vision, but the actor will enable that character to grow in certain lights, in certain areas. Again, this is a theoretical lesson, but with a few examples. And then he looks at the, the Titanic breakdown. Now, in my opinion, this is by far the best lesson of the entire masterclass. One of my favorite lessons actually in every single masterclass by far, of course, the Gordon Ramsay, which I have a link to on the top right, the Gordon Ramsay masterclass was good. And there were a lot of cool lessons in that. This Titanic breakdown of Rose and the way they introduce her through the absolute start of the film is unreal. The, the amount of detail they go into to describe the way they introduce Rose is just on an, on the next level. It's really, really powerful. From the introduction, the way she gets out of the car, every single component of her as a human, like her hand, her feet, her hat, and then her face, like every single little minute detail, every single little detail was planned out by James Cameron. And to see him talk about that is insane. So he talks about how to cinematically introduce a character. This is a lesson, regardless of your, your love of movies, this is a lesson you want to watch. Then lesson 13, we're continuing on the same act, by the way, this is still considered act by developing your characters, is developing dread. So developing dread through adversaries. Now, of course, we all know the Terminator and the Alien Queen in Alien have woken or given a lot of children nightmares and probably even adults at certain points in time. But learn how James thinks about how adversaries work and how to create them. So lesson three is also about building characters, well, villains in this case. But what's cool is, what I like about it is, so Rose is essentially a hero in the film, even though she technically let Leonardo DiCaprio die. But the point is, Rose is the hero and the Terminator and the Alien Queen are the villains. And he shows how to create both of them. That's 35 minutes worth of content of just character development from one of the best directors, film creators, filmmakers on the planet, working with some of the biggest budgets in the world, as well as creating some of the best films with the lowest budget as well. So lesson 14, I would consider the final act. And this is just things that you should know. This is more just stuff that you're really interested in. So Avatar 1, Avatar 2, all of the Avatar series, if you will, are going to be created by certain technology. Now, if you want to see how that technology is created, you want to watch lesson 14. What he talks about here is the Avatar creating technology. So what technology went into creating creating this avatar thing, oh, this film, this, this masterpiece in other worlds. And then he looks at developing the technology itself. Then he looks at capturing the actor's performance with this technology. Now, if you've watched any documentaries on Avatar, you'll probably know and seen the footage of the face capturing technology, but he goes into a lot more detail and gives you more context about how he figured that out and what gave him inspiration to use that technology. And it actually came from the Lord of the Rings number two or the two towers when he looked at Gollum and how they used facial recognition. And he said, well, well heck, if this guy I can do it. I'm going to do it. So he eventually, of course he did. And then the last one is one take full coverage. I'm not going to spoil that. That's really powerful though. Then listen 15, he gets into more of his real creative artistic expression side of things. Now James discusses his creativity, law of thermodynamics, leadership lessons that he's learned as a director over the years and how to live life as an artist, preparing as much as possible to see the magic happen. Now, a few more additional things he talks about is of course, he talks about the law, the creative law of thermodynamics and what that actually means. What isn't mentioned here is he talks about speaking the language of visual effects or VFX and understanding that well. And then, he, and then he gives you some really powerful lessons like fortune favors the prepared mind. So make sure you're preparing at all times. And then he talks about being a leader. The two central themes in leadership in, in his mind is lead with humanity and be kind to people, but also lead with inspiration. So don't only just be a leader in terms of be humble and nice to people, but inspire the people that are around you. And they're the two big leadership lessons that he talks about and understanding compromising to bring things into focus. Now, that's pretty profound when he talks about it. I don't want to spoil that for you. However, that's a really, really powerful lesson. Now, is the James Cameron Masterclass worth it? Now, you can look at this from multiple different angles, from the absolute casual, like the typical moviegoer like myself, who absolutely adores movies and loves movies and remembers movies. Absolutely, if you love James Cameron, you're going to love this Masterclass, especially if you like audio commentary. If you're a director, this is a no-brainer, whether you're advanced, because you're now dealing with someone that has worked with the biggest budgets in the world. We're talking Avatar, Titanic, 
Terminator, even though Terminator wasn't that large, relatively speaking, only $4 million. And most of that budget went to Arnold Schwarzenegger, who should make a masterclass, by the way. And then you have the artist or the actor in this case. As an actor, should you be getting this masterclass? I actually say, yeah, you probably should. There is no reason why you wouldn't want to learn from someone like James Cameron. He talks about leadership. He talks about working with actors and you get the mind or you get the perspective of working with a director that is this caliber. So this guy is a very, very big animal in that context. As always, everyone, there is a link in the description so you can get the masterclass for an unknown amount. This is the price in Australia. So it's going to be completely different for you. There's currently a dual membership thing going on. So take advantage of that if you really want to. There are new classes added every month and these masterclasses are pretty big. They're very high quality, done by professional directors and all of that jazz. And this is a very rare masterclass review for me because I never say that you should be getting this class 100%. But this is that instance where you actually should be getting the James Cameron masterclass 100%. There's nothing in this masterclass that would make me think this isn't worth it. This is absolutely worth it regardless of who you are. If you don't like movies, you probably shouldn't get it actually. Yeah. If you don't like movies, don't get the masterclass. But if you love movies, you adore them, you love watching them in your free time, this is a masterclass that you want to get. If you like the Terminator, Titanic, all of the films that this guy has made, especially the new Avatar films and how they're made, you want to explore the James Cameron masterclass. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. It helps out the channel a lot. Make sure you subscribe if you want to. And as always, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, night, wherever you are in the world. Lewis, out.